Welcome back to WordPress Made Easy. I'm Dave, I'm your instructor, and in this video, we are talking about themes inside of WordPress. Now, there are tens of thousands of WordPress themes available, and every site needs one, so how do you choose one? Well, some are free, some have a one-time cost, and others ask for an annual fee to be able to provide you with things like updates and support. Now, themes often try to position themselves as providing beautiful layouts or additional features like sliders, title animations, or one-click demo imports of entire websites. But what does and what should a WordPress theme actually do? How do you pick a good one? At a bare minimum, a WordPress theme needs to load the basic style of your site. Which fonts you use? What size are they? What colors are they? What are the rest of the colors on your website? Now you can edit these styles using the WordPress customizer. This isn't a page builder, it's more like a preferences page with a live preview. The layout and usability as well as the options available to you inside of the customizer depend heavily on the choices that the theme developer made when they were creating the theme. Now, themes will also provide templates for things like blog posts and pages. We've seen a little bit of that in previous videos. If you didn't watch the rest of this course, make sure you go back to the pages and posts videos so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's now easier than ever to create your own custom template, so it's not as important to choose a theme based on those styles. And we'll look at how to create those custom templates a little bit later on in this course. One thing that is worthy of consideration is if there are any third-party software that you want to use, you can often find a WordPress theme that complements it. For example, I use the LearnDash plugin on many of the client sites we build that include online courses. Little plug, check out clientamp.com if you want help with your site. Now, I really enjoy using the Astra theme on sites that use LearnDash because Astra has built-in styles that work really well with pages that LearnDash creates. Astra is, in fact, a really versatile and lightweight theme that's been really popular in WordPress for years now, and I highly recommend checking it out even if you don't know what LearnDash is or you don't plan to use it. Now, of course, they have a paid version of Astra, but there's a totally free version as well, and it's really easy to use, very feature-rich, and let's get it installed right now so you understand how this whole process works. Head over to your WordPress admin dashboard and under appearance, click themes. Then you're gonna go to add new, type in Astra in the search box and then just hit install and wait a few seconds and hit activate. Now, I should note that you can have several WordPress themes installed on your site, but only one can be active at a time. So you can't pick and choose between different features and layouts and combine them into one super theme. If you want further customization of your site, I highly recommend checking out the pro version of Astra. And of course, I'll include a referral link to that down below in the description. Now, because of the way people design WordPress websites these days, it's now favorable to have a lean theme that really doesn't have too many bells and whistles, but makes simple customizations very easy. So my advice to you is to find a theme that works with some of the major plugins you want to use. Maybe there's a specific online course platform or a page builder you want to use. Find a theme that works well with it. Now, features like sliders and animated titles are really best left to dedicated plugins or even a page builder. Plugins are individual models modules that you can add to your site. We'll be looking at them in more depth later on. The benefit of choosing an item separately is that then you're not locked into a particular developer's theme or feature set, and if you decide you want to change themes later on down the road, your whole site won't get wrecked because you left one theme and they locked you in. They call this content lock, and it happens all the time. We'll look more at page builders in the next video, and I can tell you a little bit more about that content lock. So by now, you should understand pages, posts, and themes inside of WordPress. To the average person, you're practically already an expert. In the next video, we'll look at my favorite page builder, Elementor. I'll see you then.